I hate ice. <laughs> Hate doors, but I love all of you. Welcome. <laughs> Thanks for the good words, God. Sorry I talked to you again. Oh, I hate snow. It gets everywhere. Well, <laughs> now I have just one more reason to kill you, yeah. God. Do you have that mental image? Speak up of snow getting everywhere. Yeah, I got <laughs> I got some kind of image for you right now. <laughs> now just, um, just so uh, before we found the teleporter. Uh, nice. Oh, I could have got all four. Of them. Yeah, four in one blow. Uh, we were talking about uh, the theme, the themes of death and mortality and light and darkness that is part of this trilogy. And so, yeah, yeah, the door, the dwarf's lifespan is a very conscious decision, and it's the type of things you don't see ton very often. Grandpa, hey, Grandpa! I don't think you actually have a way to get to him yet. Nah, it's okay. All things in time, I like that. <laughs> like death, it comes for us soon. Sometimes we wish it would come sooner. Uh, yeah, sometimes. <laughs> Remember that one time that I found out that the teleporter is like right next to where I died? Sometimes death comes too soon. A, a th th that, that seems to be very often in my case. <laughs> Ooh, that one spits hot fire. Watch out for his dope rhymes. His rhymes are no match. <laughs> he doesn't spit that much fire. <laughs> Ooh, fire burn, you bitch! <laughs> I do like the, the digging aesthetic, because, like, so this is kind of weird. So is God digging out these tunnels? It reminds me of Door Fortress. Well, it's kind of, I think the, well, not to get into a whole existential thing, but I think it's supposed to be, like, the tunnels are their houses, and the houses were sealed along with them. So, so they are then, then you start to getting the into the weird thing of, like, we're restoring negative space. You know, we're already restoring chairs. It isn't that weird at this point. Alright, this is where you died, and you don't have the mushroom shoes equipped. Oh, so I actually should have had the- I was equipped with the right item, except, except for, for the, the whole exact dying moment thing. that I died. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That would have been the point to change items. You know, <laughs> much like you, I hate change. <laughs> That's why I don't keep any spare money in my wallet. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think, I think it's more the uh, restoring- like, even though it's, you're restoring negative space, it's supposed to be more like you're restoring the house along with the person. Because otherwise, it's remo removing any sign of civilization. That's fair. Just be a normal mountain. Though I still stand by the fact that it's weird that you you on that island in the ocean world restoring was remove was clear cutting the forest. Yeah, yeah, that was what were the evil forests? Because I seem to be restoring a lot of monsters right we're, now. We're gonna just you were just gonna find out that Death Toll was just an environmentalist good guy trying to get <laughs> rid of all the pesky humans polluting the world. Yeah, just like just like the main villain of Fern Gully. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> uh, uh, Grandma, I hope you join the race and win it. <laughs> I call my snail Grease Lightning. Go Grease Lightning. Go Grease Lightning. Go, go. go. I've never actually seen that movie. I've just seen like so many jokes about it that mm -hmm. I know what you're referencing. Yep. I forgot how to leave the menu. Shut up. <laughs> Mastery. <laughs> um, Truly, no greater master that be. No, the, I think the bridge. You need to get to that other side. I think there needs to be a bridge. Uh, maybe, maybe. Or maybe you maybe. might need to talk to. If there's not a bridge from that side to the other side. They did just create a teleporter. Yeah. So I'm gonna bet I do need to talk to You someone. might need to go back. I mean, yeah. Man, if sure only... would be convenient if I hadn't just gone back. <laughs> yep. So there, you've restored two grandpas, a grandma and a snail, I think? Sounds right. So okay. I don't care about you all. Yeah, you don't care about them. Uh, I like, I That's the depressing like... mushroom. I know, but I just like him. <laughs> well, you... <laughs> I like that he brings up how all the dwarves are gonna die. Yeah. I just, really... th I just think he's neat. <laughs> What can I say? I, I like this, my people. This passage leads to the underground lake, Loon. Is it Loon or Lune? I, I would pronounce that as Loon. But yeah, but it's but like I Japanese see it characters. Either way. Oh, also, with, with Japanese for... characters, it probably is Lune. Yeah, but and also you can think of them as Loony Dwarves. Oh, oh, oh. oh but ears. Oh, this might be like the next part of the dungeon. Literally this. Well, you called that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, cool. Um, um, do you want to go talk to the, the grandmother and the other... Yeah, th those two people and the other grandpa? Oh! Cool. Can, you believe, I... <laughs> can you believe this old man used to be a child just a half a year ago? Time is very important. Thank you. I am Mr. stating the theme of this level outright. Thank you, Mr. Sam. Oh, what, what do you think the themes were for the other levels? Like, 
The first one just seemed normal to me, except for the chair. Well, no, it was normal, but it was setting up the entirety of the conflict with, um, with Death Toll and the mayor. Oh. I will not leave you and go off to other places, I promise. As proof of my promise, I buried my belongings in the Aurora Ridge. The magic armor, 50 gems, and one medical herb. I hope someone will find them. Didn't I? But not you. Didn't I find all of those things? Did you? You did, actually. By accident. Yay! Nice, good job. Uh, uh, let's see if I can find that exact spot. Uh, try talking to him normal without the rock. No. Is he still asleep? Because sometimes they wake up afterwards. No. No. If there was a go faster thing, I would probably choose. I wouldn't believe this old man used to be child. I will look for one. Yep. Oop, I must have fallen asleep. I was dreaming of my childhood. Six months ago. I wonder if the one is dead. That's really sad. Yeah. That's definitely... That's, one of the, that's why I think this is such an interesting tr trilogy. And then, there's, yeah, there's the one other grandpa we have to talk to. Yeah, he was down here. No, he was up. Okay. Because he, uh, he, like, opened up a stable. That's right! That's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. And she's the teleporting... She's the teleporting one. This is you the might talking need, to you. He might teleport you to him. Try talking to the teleporting lady again. Okay. I wonder if you need to tell... I wonder if you need to keep t uh, talking to her every time a new area is opened up. That would be interesting, but I don't think that that's true. Let's try it. Oh, honey, I can still use magic. Look! Look yeah. what I can do. I'll turn to a secret. You know, know you can only it. teleport to one location. It's exactly the same amount each time, and it's time sensitive. Yeah. Oh, yep, she teleported you back. Huh, I guess you can't access it yet. I could have sworn it was above here, right here, when it was revealed. Yeah, it looked like it, but. It looked uh, like it was in the northern area. Well. Oh, well, to the underground lake. To the Lake of Looney. Uh, what was I saying right before we looked in? Oh, so the, we were talking about the themes of the levels. The, f the first level was really the introduction of Dr. Leo, who was a really important character, and Lisa, and introduced the game as a whole with all, all of his pets, quote-unquote. You're right! All the pets- oh, and then Turbo! Oh, Turbo introduced the concept of mortality, because then you have all these animals and, like, this natural environment, and they're all kind of, like- just happy and dying. Yeah, well, it was the first time you encountered ghosts, not just Turbo, but the moles. Oh, yeah! So... Ooh, what did the ghost represent? Dedication and love? Because, uh, remember, um, the mole was dedicated to the, the ribbon of his girlfriend. Oh, He was yeah. still guarding her. And, um, you needed Turbo's bones to get the raft to carry you. How we influence or others? Or leaves, yeah. How, how our memory influences others? How our life, how our life has meaning within others? <laughs> The water, you should probably yeah, check that up top thing. Yeah. And I would say the water level was where we were first introduced to the idea of the corrupting influence of the gems. Yeah, okay. So the corrupting influence of With, uh, what, what was the dolphin's name? Not Leo. Dog was Turbo. Lou. Lou was the dolphin. Lou, That's the, right. Lou the purple dolphin talk, was the one who first started mentioning about the corrupting power of the stones. Yeah. And the idea of um, evil corrupting good. And yeah, and this 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 the theme of this level I would say is mortality. Yeah, mortality in time specifically. Mm -hmm. Um, because uh, because I wouldn't say death's a theme because the ghost ship was definitely um, as part of the water level very much about death, especially when we saw the dream of the the ghosts on the ship. Yeah, but remember when we uh, looked at the dream of this one the, that one um, angelfish. And it was its memory from when it was on the ghost ship before the ghost ship crashed. Yes, I remember that. I remember that exactly. And so, with the idea that the water level was, in fact, a level about greed, um, or about how our ambitions can uh, get in the way or like corrupt us, or yeah. uh, about corruption and causes us to clear out entire forests and destroy entire ecosystems. Yeah, I fall. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, or, or I guess corruption is a better term. Well, um, it was it was definitely corruption because corru it was corruption that got uh, the mermaid queen. Yes, but I was thinking greed in in particular is mm -hmm. corruption. But I think you're right that corruption is a vagueness. Yeah, well, it, it was definitely greed. Rotator. Oh, a new spell. Oh my god. Rotator. A light ring will radiate around you. Oh, let's try that out right now. Neat. Oh, and you can hold it. I feel That's like I'm nice. playing snake. Yeah, I mean, it uses, it, it uses it as you hold it, but that's much, you can control that a lot more easily. Yes. I like that a lot. Yeah. I, told, I told you the magic's got better. Yeah, and it doesn't cost that much. Uh, if it's as strong as the other one, it probably isn't. It probably oh. isn't, because Flare is particularly strong because it sits there and deals damage the entire time. Well, that yeah. one's more of a burst. 
Yeah, but I'm still willing to try it, and I'm sure that they've probably designed encounters around it. Well, it, I, I, at the very least, it definitely allows you a lot more control. Because you can just hold it as it circles and deal continuous damage. That that line statue that we just fought was a pretty interesting thing. And yeah, I, I agree that this could... Ooh, against, against a, a boss in particular, this could be nice. Exactly. But that, that line ring, in, uh, that line statue influencing the floor, mm -hmm. that was a great way to introduce it. It didn't hurt me at all. Um, I'm now used to that that concept of like... Yeah, it's just really, really nice. Oh, nice. That did a lot of damage. Yeah, this is actually really strong. It also causes it to move faster. Mm -hmm. So that was interesting to find out. Good game design. Yeah. This guy, yeah, I guess we just... He's keeping a boy in a cage! Oh my god! <laughs> he is doing exactly what I said! Year and a half, that's all it takes! <laughs> just keep him locked in a room! Yeah. There's something else I was gonna say, though. Interaction with the mechanics. Oh, I lost it. Oh well. One day we need to make a game together, and it should just be like a fun project. It should just be like something that literally takes us a week. Yeah, just a game jam type game? Yeah, just a game jam type game that we can totally use like... Legal, but really boring assets. Things like, we'll go to the asset shop if we're running a long time. Mm -hmm. um, because we don't have like the super pixelized art artwork that you used for your projects at school. Mm -hmm. Um, but I'm totally okay with just, again... Well, which, which projects are you referring to? You're referring to those prototypes they showed? Because I, yeah. I did those myself, because those were bare bones, like, Nintendo level, Nintendo 8-bit level pixel things. Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. I'm talking about the ones that were, like, make a game about war, and it's, like, oh, pixelized yeah. and stuff. Yep. I got rid of the... See, that's another thing. It's, I, I restored the lack of a waterfall to this cavern. Oh, fuck. I ran out of gems! <laughs> Why haven't I been using this? Why Cause, haven't I been probably because of the teleporting. Because remember, you got to deal with damage to him quickly. Yeah, but but like, yeah, you have you have been neglecting that strategy. But I think it's I don't think any of the enemies you've been fighting. Yeah, have, that was have been good for that strategy because you started off the last session using it. Yeah, so I this just is... think these these enemies aren't very um, susceptible to it. Yeah, th so because of the I think the enemy the designers realized no man no man the another snail! one of the, the pets. Yeah. Um, so I think that the game designers realized that this was the dominant strategy if you had enemies that move forward, which is why they introduced teleporting enemies to change up the strategy. Yeah, they're definitely mixing it up. Yeah, or, I'm definitely- There's a lot of- actually, this level, I'm trying to think, maybe it's because we haven't seen them since the mountain, but between the slimes, the bat, there's a lot of really mobile enemies in this level. Yeah, actually, the, the way that the enemies move, and the, the, the way that they move differently, I didn't realize it, but my joke about mastery might actually be true, uh -huh. because I'm having to think about this game in different he ways. He says as he gets it, uh, impaled by an ice pick. Well, I was- that was totally one of the- that <laughs> I, was I totally know. one of those cases where I was focusing more on talking I know, and not that, in the that, game. I know, that's fine. It's just, timing's always fun. Yeah, 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 timing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sure that that's what that's what you tell me. I'm sure that's what you tell yourself at night instead while you're laughing about what I did during the game. Only when the time's right. Uh, the time is always right. <laughs> so I feel like I'm missing something. That, yeah, how do you get to that portal? Oh, there, you probably need to kill this portal first to get to that portal. Oh, this is awesome. I get to kill bats super fast now. Granted, the other thing is better. Fuck. <laughs> The other thing doesn't waste, like, gems, but, like, mm -hmm. this one's fine. But you got the lucky- you, you, Oh, see, but here's another thing about game design. It's interesting- Oh, the lucky blade, of course! You're getting much more gems with the lucky blade at the same time it introduces such a gem-intensive magic. That's wonderful! Oh, and I also have the, the magic armor, which-, yeah. which uh... Cuts the gem a mountain half. So, yeah. let's see, again, there's all sorts of synergies going on. Yeah, so they knew exactly what was up. Wait, talk to it. I mean, even if she, you don't yeah, need she to be still teleported back. Yeah, Expa. Here, take, take this. this. Speak of perceived. Expa. No, get off my back, Ma. Cool. Cool. Actually. Oh, oh, wait. Okay, Damn it. well, um, I was going to say let's end the, it's a good time to end the episode, and you can talk to Nome now, I guess. Yeah, let's You probably would have needed to talk to him soon anyway, considering. That, yeah. You know, usually when they put those gems, it's like, a reminder like, hey, you got to need to go back to get the next thing to go. Yeah, let's do it. Bye, everybody. Bye. Next time, no made the snail. <laughs>